a buffet full of food and tables lined with certificates and awards. You might see this spread at an employee appreciation night, but the people getting this honor don't get paid. They volunteer at the crisis center. I have to say, even tonight we have volunteers who are back at the crisis center. I think we're having pizza delivered for them um, because they're working the 24-hour crisis line and they're getting the food bank restocked. Their people, like Nancy Rowe, the Crisis Intervention Volunteer of the Year, who spends her free time helping people in trauma. Well, that's when you take a big deep breath and get prepared to be on the phone for a couple hours. Without people like Nancy and 300 other volunteers, the Crisis Center would have to hire more than 18 full-time staff members. But they and nonprofits countywide are always looking for more help. With a transient student population and many volunteers moving from one organization to another, that can be a challenge. And oftentimes what we find is that once someone has a connection to an organization, they may be more likely to stay and do more hours. But they have to find the right fit, just like these volunteers did. Everybody in this room is here because they care about someone they'll never know. They'll never find out how it comes out, but they want to help. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Brittany Borgie, Fox 28 News.